Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss a small project with eight emerging open sources that are Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, Hive, Scoop, MySQL, Airflow, and Grafana. So on top of this eight open sources, we will be making some hands-on completely end to end. And this is the architecture. So this architecture, I just make it with some sources from the web blog and those sources I just consuming via Kafka and creating a new topic. And from that, using a Spark structure streaming, it's consumed from the Kafka server and injecting to the MySQL table. Once the data comes to the MySQL table, we will be injecting the data into the Hadoop environment via scoop incremental input operation. And once the Hadoop having all the data, we will be using Hive partitions. We will be creating an external table as well as partition table both in Hive and we just injecting the data into the partition table. And finally, Spark is going to be refer Hive integration partition tables and making some aggregations in in memory. And final output is going to be stored into the aggregate. Via this aggregate output, the Grafana going to be show some dashboard in continuous live operations like that we have designed once everything will be completed in this answer we just integrate with airflow scheduler how it's going to be work with continuous scheduling operation as well this is our plan today so now we just going to be kickstart from web block sources so those web block sources we have stored in some places project api here we have this bdp this is the api jar that we will be going to use it today and injecting the data from web block to kafka in this api only so java different jar and i just providing kafka api and I just using localhost 9092 and topic I need to provide as a document here I forget so I just kickstart the Kafka cluster server so zk server dot sketch start before starting the Kafka cluster we have to enable zookeeper as well so I just kickstart the zookeeper and now I just go to the Kafka path. So here I just going to kickstart our Kafka server. <coughs> so bin Kafka server start a sketch and going to refer the config file from server properties. And I just make some override operations. Um, to uh, delete the uh, topics delete topic enable yeah now the kafka server is started we're just going to see as well as what are the topic we have so same bin Kafka topics I just make list okay we just using the bootstrap server so this bootstrap server I just providing here 9092 and colon so localhost and 9092 okay this is the topic name we got it I just providing the topic name here and I just mentioning every five seconds you just injecting the data so web blog API is going to be inject the data every five seconds into the respective topic name and this IP addresses so we will be using locally I just providing to the local host and port numbers okay it just kick started in, in this API I'm using 2.3.0 and 232 uh, 2.3.2 spark versions and integration with 1.8 version so if you have this proper form then only you can kickstart this api 
now I just going to be consume the data so Kafka we can see first the data properly consuming or not dot bin Kafka console consumer and rest of that is same only broker name it will ask and topic kfk tpk1 yeah it is consuming now from here it just started our consumer so from here only it's just going to be refer the data 25 58 sorry 55 28 yeah from here so all the respective coming upcoming data is going to be consumed via Kafka server so webla and Kafka integration we have completed from Kafka we will be uh, consuming the data into the spark structure streaming before we just see in console only now via spark structure streaming we will be just consuming via the same topic name that is already have write the code and previous my projects I just provide all the informations if needed you can refer it okay but I can this is the code I just simply explain you how we am consuming the data so here the same the bootstrap server I just providing the same only as well as topic name I just mentioned here whatever I am using the topic name the same topic name I'm going to refer it here so via this it just creating as a structure streaming and will make it as a some blah 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 uh, data frame operation and finally it's going to be injected into the DB table uh, before uh, execute this we just creating a new table in MySQL that is our plan of agenda so it's going to be referred to the MySQL table mysql hyphen u root hyphen p root ok I just provided and I am creating a new database workshop 4 and use this database and create a table table web log uh, details and what are the respective column I have to create here first is a date value IP address host name and URL and this value is a URL until this and final one is a code number response code number so 5 value 1 2 3 4 5 value will be provided so top based on that I just create a date value IP host name what is the host will be providing this web log details and URL and response code so first date value first we can mentioning all the column name and finally we will be providing the data type properly and <coughs> IP address at add res and host name and URL date value IP address host name URL and response code response code so date value timestamp you can use it and here our IP address closely is that dot provided so we just create as a vacuum and then host the same I am providing here and URL uh, better I can provide that URL with 250 of records because URL length is very high till this we have to provide and finally response code I just created with integer mm, 
okay this is the column date value and then IP address and then host name and URL and response code okay everything is correct before kick start we will be using some sco scope incremental so I just creating a ID asset auto increment value integer not null value auto increment INCRE M increment okay and I just make it as a primary key to avoid duplicate values that's it okay now the table has created so I just referring this into this value okay so user ready password everything I just provided so it's going to be just get connected with connected database and it's just providing the data already I explained and I'm not sure so in this code is a similar already I provided in my previous project so here I just referring the the same Kafka topic team and uh, bootstrap server and all the data can be injected into the structure and streaming data frame and data frame is just converted from the string serialization to normal of uh, string uh, data once string data type can be converted we just uh, convert into the structurized format via this and finally we just injecting the data into the database this is the flow that we have designed now we just going to be executed Okay, it's uh, started I guess. Select star from so every five seconds it's going to be referred the data. Okay, so my blog details. So continuously it's going to be referred the same data, whatever it's producing. So first data, once it is injected, then finally we can see. Still, it's not consuming. Yeah, now it's consuming 220, uh, 22 to 38. 22 to 38 or 33, something. It will be start from here. Just okay. So 22 to 33 seconds. It's just just refer on injecting the data from here it's continuously injecting the data or environment and converted to the structurized and properly injecting the data so this is the HTTP 1.1 1 .1 and 200 values 1.1 and 200 okay it just referred and creating with auto increment into the ID numbers so every five seconds is going to be injecting the data so continuous injection we can continue with spark streaming operation and this data will be injected into the mysql table this is the flow we have designed till now now we will be creating a scoop injections with some incremental operation and just referring this data and injecting to the hadoop environment okay so i just creating a scoop job now Scoop job iPhone iPhone create scoop simply we can provide the table name and database. Okay, there's a scoop job I just provided and import um, 
hyphen hyphen connect we will be using JDBC connections here only TBC MySQL local host and uh, default port number 3306 for MySQL is the default port number and we have to provide JDBC MySQL local host this one and a database name so username we know very well root for scope injections we have to provide the proper password so I just using some password files that I have stored in somewhere okay And this is the local file only. Okay, this is the password file that I'm going to store it. And I just want to provide the table name. We can get the table name from here. and target directory I can creating a new directory project slash work workshop 4 or we can provide this one Okay, this is the directory. Okay, create input connections username, password, table, target directory. I provided. Yeah, okay, it's an incremental input. Incremental. So we have to follow with up and operations. column id and lost value so this is the first kickstart so i just provided mention with zero and mapper i just provided with m1 and using direct operations okay yes did anything missed scoop job create job name import connect username password table name target directory target directory okay this is the common and incremental up and check column last value and number of member okay hope everything is correct so scope job is injecting the data so we have to kickstart the scoop job before we just see how many data is available order by id descending making limit 5 value so just loading the data up to 85 records is loaded so every 5 seconds is loading the data so every 5 seconds is injecting into this table so now i am going to kickstart this scoop operation scoop job hyphen hyphen exec this is the job name Okay, 
scoop job starter so lower bound value I just mentioned as a zero until now it's 95 records is loaded I think so so up to 95 record is going to be referred in scoop job so just executing up to 0 to 95 records ok we have missing to provide the file format that is ok default string value is going to be store all the data so job has created and map and reduce is going to be kickstart now and we will be using Hadoop 3 version so eraser encoding has been disabled Okay, only mapper can execute so total 95 records is going to be inserted so now spark sorry scoop job incremental operation is executing successfully I guess so so now we can see one more time so up to 113 record is stored simply we just execute without failure it's going to be injecting the data into the direct you can see the same data mm. is DFS DFS LS project okay I missed to provide this value This is the path DFS DFS iPhone hmm. LS. Now we can see here the data is properly loaded. Now from 95 lower bound up to 118 record is going to be loaded now. Yeah, okay, file is available. This GFS version. I'm using Hadoop 3.1.2 version. Okay, I just SDFS TFS I cat. This will in text format we can see. Okay, properly injecting the data up to 95 records and the second job is going to be executed and now it's completed. So 23 record is just retrieved. We can see the paths again. again new file has been created now we can see what are the records available in this ok so before record is end with 95 a new record is going to be referred from 96 to 180 so scoop injection is properly working now so first we will make it this into the scheduler format I'm using Airflow now. So I'm just creating a new project. Data. Mm. So we can see simply into the top layer. So workshop four. okay so here we just going to be importing airflow and scheduling this import airflow from airflow dot models so DAG can be import here okay so DAG can import it and schedule timings and uh, what kind of operator we have to use it so these three we are going to use it so normal operation we can using scoop import but we just using a scoop job execution for the incremental import operation so we don't want to use a scoop operator here we can use simply into the bash operator rest of that hive integration as well as park integrations so this hive and spark we can go with hive operator and spark operator in scoop we will be go with simple bash operator is enough
from airflow operators bash operator import bash operators so we're just providing a simple DAG name workshop 4 this drag I am going to use it so guys a key value pair I just creating a owner as well as Schedler. Okay, owner and scheduler. I can follow up with start date. So these two is a must one thing. So start date I have to go with one day ago. So for that I have to import date utils from airflow. Utils dates. Airflow utils dates days ago. Just provide into one. Now I'm going to create a DAG. So this DAG is must expected three things. DAG ID, DAG ID, schedule interval and start date. So this three is a must. So start date we can get from the document. So DAG ID we have to provide. So DAG ID we can provide in this DAG name and schedule intro we have to provide here. So DAG ID and we can using default argument that's arguments and schedule interval at present moment we can provide into that once operations properly everything is working then we can provide into that multiple
okay so DAG project we have created so bash operator we can use it now the first scoop incremental we can using bash operator bash operator is nothing but we just providing the bash command and uh, task id is enough I guess yeah bash command task id and proper DAG task id increment bash command That's it. We just execute this job in Airflow. If it is properly working, we can go for the next. So we don't want to execute here. We can see how many records are stored. And already we have seen via scoop job is just providing only part to M0 and 1 both. So instead of executing here, we just using Airflow and execute the job. So just kickstart airflow now. So airflow I am using 1.10.6 version. Okay, airflow started. As well as I am going to execute airflow server. Sorry, scheduler. So airflow kickstart properly as well as airflow scheduler also is just kickstarted. So just go to the local host. You can see the diagonal got the metally here. Whatever I just provide the name we we'll see here. Hadoop workshop 4. So it's not referred still, I guess. Yeah, Hadoop workshop is now. I just trigger it. Uh, let's see. This is a one time job only, I just mentioned. Because repeatedly, if it is executing, we cannot assure what has happened. So we just identify and once the one time job is completed properly then we can properly schedule into the every uh, frequency so DAG is not started <coughs>
okay we have to trigger it right so one time job we didn't mention any schedule timings so we just trigger it now just kick start now So it is running. Still it is running. Yeah, successfully completed. So job is working fine and completed successfully. Airflow schedule is working. Okay. So we just make with Oops. Okay. If it is a continuous import, then it will be loaded, right? So properly we just scheduled once scoop job job name is correct. Okay, unfortunately we forgot to provide the main program to execute the stack. So just making the stack. So DAG project. Dot shop. Dot CLI have to execute. Then only it continues follow will happen. And we'll see. Better we can import a dummy operator. So this dummy of uh, we just injecting now. finish task 
just spreading like that on dummy operator just expecting the DAG task ready only I guess Sorry, this is not required. So here we have missed one thing. Tag will not be referred properly here. That is the problem. So tag, I need to mention which tag is going to be referred. Without that, how it can know? is right now it's correct we can see Better we can provide with task ID and this operator. Now it is correct, I guess. Yeah, now we can see scope increment properly. One more time, I'm just going to be trigger now. The final operator, both we can see now. That's what we just mentioning with once. Interval. Otherwise, it's kickstart and executed on time period and continuously failed. Finally, once confirmed, then only we can schedule into the normal interval. It is still running. This is success now. Better we can cross with you one more time.
yeah successfully just injecting the data as per time section properly it's injecting the data now we can see the data how it is so this is much more have the data already we have right we just open it and last record it was end with 118 still executing in Hadoop environment yeah yeah exactly it start from 119 so it's continuous injection we can follow in now in fourth one we can see with After four seventeen record. Yeah, it comes from our four eighteen record. So scheduler is properly working airflow. So weblog and Kafka, Spark streaming and MySQL integration, scoop incremental import and Hadoop ingestions. So till now we have seen and uh, this will be automated via scoop scheduler sorry airflow scheduler as well. So next rest of things we can see in that part B video. Thank you. Please provide your comment. If any queries you just mention we will be see that and get back to you. Thank you.